Hello and welcome to the condo. This video goes through the home entertainment system which is a benefit that you get with this condo. It's quite complete. You can watch Blu-rays on here. You can watch high-definition television. There is a digital video recorder here so that you can record television and watch it all in high-def. There's also a uh, Blu-ray player below and there's a um, amplifier for the home theater. There are a lot of DVDs here which you can watch which are handy to uh, go through with your stay here if you're snowed in. Let's go over how to uh, work this uh, home entertainment system. Well, there's a few remotes around here and you'll find a remote on the left hand side of the TV. This is a combination remote. It usually works well if you're in a hurry and you want to turn everything on and you don't uh, have time or want to learn how to run the home theater system. This remote usually works pretty well, but you should probably get to know the um, remotes that come with the equipment. So over here, we have a number of remotes. This first remote here is for the smart TV, and this might be all you really need. This remote, you can turn the TV on, watch high def, and do lots of other stuff. This remote here is a charter cable remote. And if you get stuck, this is maybe a good one to use. And let's go through what this remote does. You can turn on the cable TV box, which is the uh, DVR box over there with this cable button. You can turn the TV on with the TV button. Just hit TV and power. You can turn the uh, Blu-ray DVD player, which is Blu-ray, on by hitting DVD and the power button. And you can hit auxiliary button here, this AUX button. The aux button actually controls the uh, home theater amplifier. This third remote here is for the disc player. If you're watching DVDs and want to really control the precision, you might want to use this for controlling the actual DVD when it's playing. This fourth remote is for the home theater system. It's pretty complicated. I'd probably just not really get too involved with it unless you really know what you're doing. Okay, so let's go, how, go into how to watch the TV. Here we have the TV remote that comes with the Samsung TV. And we're going to hit the power button here on the left, and that should bring everything up. So we'll do that, and you'll see the TV will come up, and the cable box, and we can watch TV. So there comes the TV set. And the cable box, which is the DVR. And now you can watch TV. Let's turn the volume up with the volume button here on the left. There goes the volume. Change channels. Button on the right. Really easy stuff. So this is a smart TV and one of the benefits of it is that it has a guide uh, built in. This TV is also connected up to the internet and since it's on the internet, it can pull in its own guide that Samsung made, uh, or you can use the charter guide. Let's go through how to do that. So on this remote control here for the, for the TV, um, we can go over the buttons here real quick and show you what you can do. Okay, here's remote control. This box here is your set-top box guide, and that really is your charter communications guide. This one here is for your set top box menu. You won't need to use that. There's your mute button right there. Volume up and down, channels up and down. Um, you probably won't need that button at all. This one is your guide. So the guide button's pretty cool. You can look at this and get a whole guide um, that Samsung has put together for Charter. Let's try that out. We'll hit the guide button here. And what you'll see is you get a whole guide from uh, Samsung, which has the charter cable system for North Lake Tahoe in there. So you can now go up and down to this guide using the uh, up and down controls on the remote, which are right about here. And you can see how that works up and down the guide. You can choose a channel and you're all set. Oh, there's something called Repo Men. So we'll hit the Enter key and Looks like that's channel 28. 
looks like Frazier's on there, so maybe that guide's not so good. There is another way to use a guide, which we can take this charter control here. So remember I said this charter control is um, this charter control is pretty useful. Well it is. This is from Charter Cable. And this is their universal remote. And we programmed in all the different systems in here. So if we press the cable button here then and leave it on cable, okay? Then we can control the volume of the TV with the charter remote. Turn it up. There goes the volume. Change channels. And now here you can use your set-top guide, which is how you also record movies. So we're going to go into guide here. There's a guide button. There's the guide button right there. So when you press that guide button, you're going to see a guide up on the screen. Okay, so here's a guide right here. Now, say you want to record something. Well, that's not too hard. You probably have this at home, but you may not. Okay, look at that. Something called NFL Primetime. Well, if you like football, you want to go skiing, but you don't want to miss this, you can record that. So say, say you want to record something at, say, uh, 2 p.m. So you move the um, time here up to, say, 2 p.m. Um, something called Around the Horn is on. Oh, I want to... I want to record that. So you're going to hit the record button here on the charter remote. And so here's the record button. I'll show you what that is. There it is. This is the charter remote. Here's the record button right here. We have our TV here at uh, a show we want to record at 2 o'clock called Around the Horn. So we're going to select that. Looks like we got it already there in our sights. It's yellow. So now we're going to hit the record button and watch this. Now it's got a red dot and it's saying it's going to record that at 2 o'clock. So that's all you need to do. And if it records that, then you can play it back. You might want to ask, well, how do I play back movies? Well, that's not too bad. There's this thing on here called My DVR. Okay. Right there is called, called My DVR. So you can press that. And we don't have any movies in here yet because the DVR is new. But if there was a movie, you would play it back right there. And maybe people that have stayed here before have recorded movies and you can watch them. Well, there, there could be a bunch of movies in there, so you might want to you might want to press my DVR first and see what kind of movies are in there that you can watch. Maybe you'll like some of them. So that covers how to uh, how to run the TV. Oh, the TV will also play um, YouTube. And that's kind of a cool thing. So to play with advanced functions with the TV, you'll want to use the uh, Samsung control that came with the TV. And this little smart icon here, this little smart button, it's kind of a little cube button. This button is your gateway to all the internet things the TV can do. So if you want to play YouTube, no problem. This thing will play YouTube. So let's uh, turn up the volume on the TV a little bit. Let's hit this button here for the uh, advanced features. And here you see, okay, a bunch of features. You want to move this top button here, icon to apps. So we're going to move the icon to apps using the, the um, back and forth controls here. Now we're on apps, and you can see, okay, we have some apps here. What do we have? Well, we have Facebook, we have Twitter, we have YouTube. Of course, my favorite's YouTube, and that's the one I'll demo. But here is, um, here's Facebook, you have to log in with your account. Don't worry, it doesn't save it. There's Twitter, it doesn't save it. Skype to make phone calls, who knows how that works. Amazon, if you have an account, you can probably play your Amazon movies. Um, here is YouTube, no account required. Let's try and play YouTube. So now we're gonna hit enter, the middle button, and you might see YouTube come up. Loading YouTube. There it is. Let's see what we can play on here. This TV is connected via wireless or Wi-Fi to the Wi-Fi box, so it has all the internet connectivity. Well, here's some videos. Looks like somebody was watching Taylor Swift. I wonder who that was. Let's um, 
Let's turn on that video again and play it. See how it looks. Just hit play and YouTube should load and then you can watch anything you want on YouTube. Kind of fun. Looks like it's going to throw a commercial back at us here for uh, 25 seconds. That's nice. That's how YouTube is. It's a uh, money maker for you for Google. So that's uh, a commercial. And then your video you selected should play here any minute now. And now the video should come up. In this case, I think it was Taylor Swift. Shake it off. So, yeah, so you can play videos on here. It's pretty handy. So you can watch this, watch a bunch of videos, watch anything you want. And when you're done, just, uh, well, we'll hit this cube button again on the remote. We'll hit the smart button. That'll take us back, and then we're going to move back to TV with this, this top icon. See the two icons on top there? They're, well, there's a list of icons on top here. Okay. So can you see how I'm, whoop, I'm, I'm moving this thing to TV? I'm going to move it to TV and hit enter. And then we should be back on TV, which we are. And now we can change channels like we were doing before and all that. So now, if you want to watch some really good audio on your TV, you can go to the upper channels in the 700s. I'll try going to 710 or so. So up here in the 700s, you have your good audio. And what you want to do is, you want to look at the icons here on the TV that are provided by Charter. This icon here says it's 5.1 audio. And 5.1 audio is really handy. So to get the TV to work with the home theater, here's how you do it. You first of all want to get the volume control on the remote and turn down the TV volume. So you'll see the TV's volume here in the corner. We're turning it down to zero, okay? Get it down to zero. That means TV speakers are off. Then on your home theater down here, we'll simply turn it on and hit video one. So our home theater, we can just turn this thing on by hitting the power button here. Then we're gonna hit video one, which is in the buttons down here. There's video one. That's about it. Now to get the best sound, you wanna turn your listening mode to direct. So we're going to select direct here. And there's direct right there. Again, we move these modes here to direct and we leave it on direct. Direct gives you the best audio with the TV or DVD. So now let's take a look at what we can find here that has good audio and how to use it. So we're just going to go through a few channels here. Oh, that one's not very interesting. But you can see the 5.1 logo, which means it has good audio. So if you find a football game on here, that's always a great thing to watch, that it has really good audio. Anyway, that's how to do that. So you might wonder, how do I play a DVD? Well, that's a little involved, but here's how to do it. You can do it a few ways. If everything is turned off and you're in a big hurry, you can use this remote control here, which is kept by the uh, side of the TV. This, the smart remote might do the trick for you. If everything is turned off, see? Let's turn everything off. We'll turn off the, uh, we'll turn off the TV. We'll turn everything off. We'll pretend everything's turned off. And sometimes this stuff's hard to turn off because it keeps turning itself back on. Ah, this is how it works. 
Okay, everything now is turned off. Everything is turned off. So we're, we're gonna get the smart remote control here, which is in the cradle. And this is a really easy way to play DVDs. You just grab the smart remote control here. And you'll see it has a button called activities. So you're gonna push activities. And on the screen, you're gonna see a key that says watch DVDs. That's the middle one here that says watch DVDs. So we're gonna aim this at the home entertainment system. And we're gonna press watch DVDs like that. Everything turns on, TV turns on, the DVD player turns on, and that's all good. So then I would think it'd be smart to grab the DVD player uh, remote, which is labeled disc player, and I'll show you that one. Now that everything's turned on correctly, we're going to use this little remote here. And since we're all turned on, we're going to hit the eject button right here to open up the DVD. So. We bring us a remote for the disc player over here. We say open. There comes the door open. It's a little dark over here, but... And then we put the DVD in. Here we go. Push it closed. And the TV will start playing it. There we go. Again, you want to make sure your home theater is in direct mode. Oh, it's saying DVD all channel stereo. Let's see. Let's put it back in direct. There it is. Direct works best. And now you can see your DVDs playing. You can skip ahead with this little remote control to the actual movie by pressing the forward key. You can see it's going pretty fast, skipping across the commercials and the other movie advertisements you'll eventually get to your movie. Looks like a few more adverts are in here. And you'll finally get to the movie. There it is. J. Edgar. Hit play. Play movie. With the play button. There it goes. Simple as that. Now we can skip ahead a bit. Here it goes. So this is how to run the DVD. And we're playing through the Home Entertainment Center. <laughs> and to turn up the volume on the Home Entertainment Center, you can grab the surround sound control, the big one here, use the volume. Turns it up and down. I have 40 names of suspected radicals already in only four hours. It's pretty nice. 10,000 by the end of the month, and I have my own staff. Trust me. So when you're all done, you want to eject the DVD with the DVD control here. I'm just going to eject it again. It'll bring out the DVD. Let's put the DVD away. Close the door. Now, you can turn off the home entertainment system here. There's one strange thing that happens though, the TV kind of gets locked into the DVD mode. So to fix that, to get the TV back to being a TV, you grab the Samsung control that says Samsung on it, smart TV control, and you press this middle button here called source. Let's go over that. Okay, this one here will get you out of a jam with the DVD, so you press the source button and then you move it to charter box, which is on the left. So I'll press this. And it happens pretty quickly. You'll see it's on Samsung here. And we're going to move it to charter. So once again, that's the screen for the DVD. When we press the source button on the control, on the remote control for the Samsung TV, you move it over to, uh, to charter. And that's it. TV comes on and you're all done. But it remembers the last device you're on. So if you're playing DVDs, it'll get stuck on playing DVDs until you move it with that middle.